Alright, so you've seen the video that I did previously on how to set up avatars to be able to work with the Mixed Reality software Live. Now you're hooked, now you want more. Recently I got the Vive Tracker, so I've been doing a lot of experimenting with full body tracking for my avatars. I will warn you that these aren't cheap. They do run about $100 each, and it's usually recommended for the smoothest avatar movement that you get at least three. One for the waist and one for each foot. So while I wouldn't recommend these for beginner or more casual VR users, as they aren't really necessary for anything and they're not really supported in a lot of games in terms of actually using your feet to be able to kick things, if you're starting to get more seriously interested in avatars, mixed reality, and content creation, I'd say that this is going to be the next big step for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your trackers, which can be a pain in the ass if you don't set it up right, how to get your live avatar working with full body tracking, and as an added short bonus, how to get full body tracking working in VR chat. Let's get to it. First, I'm going to show you how to get SteamVR to initially recognize your trackers, because if you don't do this properly, you'll get an error saying that you can only pair two controllers at a time. I recommend buying something like a USB 2.0 hub to keep all your dongles neat and in one place, and so you don't use up so many USB ports on the back of your computer. You're going to want to pair them one at a time. I also recommend labeling your tracker and its paired dongle accordingly so you remember which is which. Make sure you turn on SteamVR and make sure to turn your controllers on first. Plug in one dongle into the hub or your computer, and turn on one tracker by pressing the middle button for a second or two. In SteamVR, right click on the grayed out tracker and then click Pair Tracker. Select I want to pair a different type of controller, then select the HTC Vive tracker. Press and hold the middle of your tracker until it starts blinking blue. The light will turn from blue to solid green once it's paired. Once it's paired on SteamVR, you will see your tracker as a solid blue. In the Steam VR settings, make sure that you label this tracker to what appropriate body part it is. For this particular example, I'm going to label it as left foot. So take a label sticker or something and mark both the dongle and the tracker associated with it. We're going to do the same for the next tracker. With the left foot dongle and tracker still plugged in, proceed to plug in the next dongle, turn on the next tracker and pair it in Steam VR. Label this one as right foot both in the Steam settings and with your physical labels on the dongle and tracker itself. Finally, last step, the hip tracker. Same thing. Plug in the final dongle, turn on the final tracker, and pair it. Label as hip in Steam VR and with your labels, and you should have both your controllers and your tracker successfully running and usable all at the same time. It's a good idea to check for firmware updates for your trackers, but they will have to be directly plugged into your PC with the provided USB cable. To update your tracker, plug in the first one directly into your PC, click on the Steam settings, go to devices, then update device. You'll see here if your tracker needs updates or not. As for attaching the tracker to yourself, a wide variety of straps are available, but I personally have used the very affordable Skywind straps with no issues. I'll post a link for these in the description below. Based on personal experience, the trackers will last about four to five hours on a full charge, which is plenty for a stream or video recording, but straps do exist in which you can charge your trackers while wearing them should you need longer use out of them. Now that you have everything set up, let's get it working in Live. Again, if you need help setting up your avatar and how to get Live working, you can check out a video that I've made on this channel previously. With Steam VR running and all of your devices plugged in, make sure you launch Live and then we're going to launch Capture. Under Camera, we're going to make sure that under Camera Profiles, that avatar is selected. All right, so now that you have your headset on and your trackers on your person, if you look down, you're going to see a little symbol that says live and a green cursor. We're going to bring that green cursor, hover it over until the circle fills, and you will bring up the avatar menu. Again, all of these other settings you can see in a previous video I made, so this is just for trackers, but select the avatar that you want to use. So if you look on the left, you're going to see options for different tracking. You can do more than just the typical three, like we're going to do one for the waist and two for the feet. But honestly, I think having three trackers is just fine enough. So select waist and feet and you'll see it's kind of working, but not really. There's something going on with my waist. So what we're going to try first is just to do the default calibrate T pose. So you're going to bring up this, look for the feet. We're going to kind of match up our trackers and our legs in that spot and then hold your arms out, make a T pose, hit the trigger button, and that's already looking a lot better. And don't forget to save. So you might notice depending on where your hips are in relation to the avatar's hips, because you might have all kinds of different crazy avatars going in. Sometimes you might either be 
too hunched or the waist tracker will just seem to be twisted in a weird way. If you ever need to customize that, you can do new calibration here. And it's in this mode where you can actually move around the hip tracker, uh, the feet trackers to align them more properly to where they're supposed to be. So I, I frequently have to do this, especially for the hip tracker because I have high hips and sometimes it doesn't always match with my avatars. Once you move it to wherever you want to, you can just hit OK and that will save it. If you ever feel like you've messed up, because I've done this a couple times where I've thought I've calibrated something well and it turned out a nightmare, you can always just delete this here, recalibrate a basic T-pose and that should get you back to at least something that's usable. If you do ever want to check the battery life of your trackers, you're going to want to hit that Steam VR menu button, look down and then you should actually see the battery life on your trackers as well as the one on the hip if you're flexible enough. Same thing as with your controllers. Finally, getting avatars to work in something like VR chat is super duper easy. You don't actually need live for this. I recommend already having your trackers on before you launch Steam VR though, as sometimes you won't see this calibrate button. You might instead see something that just says seated or standing. So just to be on the safe side, I usually make sure that all of my trackers are on before launching VR chat. So once you've picked the avatar you want, you'll see that it's kind of stuck in this really awkward T-pose, but you'll notice that there are balls as to where our trackers actually are. See, I moved my hip here. So what you're gonna wanna do is similar to Liv, we're gonna wanna sort of put the balls as close as we can to those appropriate body parts. Same thing with your hands. You're gonna hold out, make a T-pose, hold the triggers, and there we go. Now we've got full body tracking in VR chat. Now you might notice depending on the avatar and its height, you're not going to get a totally perfect tracking. So like for this fella, obviously I'm not in the shape of a bear. We're going to try track. We're going to try hitting the triggers and doing the T pose and see what happens. Uh, clearly, clearly something has gone wrong. So you might find that depending on the avatar, there's all kinds of weird avatars and weird sizes. We're going to try to see if we can properly calibrate this one, for example. Um, you know what, actually it didn't work out too bad. It's it's weird being closer to the floor, but you know what, it actually works. Let's see, Hank doesn't really have any hips, but we're gonna see how well this one works. Huh, you know what, not bad. And you might actually have this issue, um, you might notice that with some avatars, for some reason you're partially in the floor or you're raised above the floor. What you can do is if you download something called OVR advanced settings on Steam, it's free. You're actually able to adjust your play space. So if you go to offsets, there's a, the Y axis up and down and that will bring you up and down basically. So you may have to on the fly, depending on your avatar, change the height so that your feet aren't clipping in the ground or you're not too high off the ground. But that's pretty much it. It's super easy. To turn your trackers off, all you need to do is hold the middle button down until it turns off, or you can add a setting on Steam VR to turn off your trackers automatically when Steam VR closes. I've been having a lot of fun playing around with these trackers, and in the future, I might create a video geared towards more sit down, desktop, VTuber type stuff, but that would be for a separate future video. So subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications. I'm curious to see what kinds of things you guys have done with your Vive trackers or what you'd be interested in trying. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. I experiment a lot with VR and mixed reality on my Twitch channel, which you can find at twitch.tv slash adambombbody. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific, so feel free to stop by. You can also find me at adambombbody on pretty much any social media except for Snapchat because why? And I do have a Patreon page in case you want mini guides and a way to further support this channel. So thank you. As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.